Okay, found more star action on the volcano. I basically want a K cam. And you can see all the star action. See that triangulation there? Mauve, yellowish, orange, whatever, and then the blue. Can't miss that. And then this action down here too. Bam, bam, bam. You know Mauna Kea is hot right now. Boom, boom. And you even see how this star flopping right there. We'll see what kind of star that is because basically what we're going to do, we're going to cruise along the right here. We might even get what star that one is. Because basically we've got a nice one of the crosses. There's lots of crosses out there in space that are star constellations. This one's a little unusual because it's got the arm up in the air. But I think I got it. We'll go to World Wide Telescope here. And as you've seen the time when we came in, you just backed the video up. I'm not too worried about that. It's basically wanting to show you the stars that, that are bright here that are doing this for long here. And there's a volcano down there. And these are right on the ground here too. There's a lot of stuff right here in the grass. And also over here. And here. And here. You can see that? And also over here. So, and even here. So, the whole mountain is getting a real good shellacking from the star systems. And Mother Nature loves it. And uh, starts telling the... Uh, take care of the earth and give us uh, some air conditioning from all the sun and the super giants getting too hot for earth so we got we know we got drought and everything like that in a lot of places so it's all real these are all stars here glowing down onto bam bam on a K and yes she's steaming and getting hotter all the time and you see it in here in the middle also all these stars in the middle of the day even one up here or a planet or something. So let's go to Worldwide Telescope. And here we are. I put it at a thousand meters because basically the height of uh, Mauna Kea. So basically it does somewhat look a little bit like it could be some of this here and maybe I'm at too low of an altitude but at the same time you just gotta look and figure out we also have this one over here. So, and we got to remember that we are hecka high, so I might be wrong with that 1,000 meters. Because we're 3 feet to 1,000 meters, so we're 13,780, yeah, so I'm like a 100 feet off. I mean, what am I talking about? 1,000 feet off. Might as well just go to 14,000. So, basically, 14,000, three and a half more meters. I mean, 350 more meters. So ballpark but I do really believe more than likely that we are seeing the stars out of the nab I see 318 so when we count back from the deal we got this here now also this is up high so what do we see four there I don't think we see four stars in square right there but Denab makes a lot of sense because then we have all this other stuff around there and then we have these triangulations which makes a lot of sense because we have a lot of triangulations right there and we have these so basically Denab, Katoris so it's basically the stars in Denab that are really giving it some good action right now Because even this ends up looking like a triangulation because it gets in with some star on the way in the back. Or actually it can make an Alpha Fornicus can make a triangulation there anyway. So then as we go up these triangulations. So pretty much makes a lot of sense and then
So let's go back and look and see what we got. If it looks like if it's this here constellation here of Janam. Guiana and Zedisligini. So there's pretty much the triangulations there. And with them being lower too here, that pretty much matches up to the left. So here we go with a full big shot. Boom, boom, boom. And then we zoom in. And we have the triangulations lower, so we already kind of figured that on the left-hand side. There's triangulation there too, and we'll blow it up. Uh, so... Pretty much, this is our I thought the cross showed up a lot more earlier, but anyway, that's pretty much what's going on there. Because you know it shoots to the northeast. Let's go see what those two stars are way up there that are pretty bright and big. And we pretty much got it down that we have a triangulation down there that's facing that way. We might be able to get what that star is right there in the corner of this here triangular. Being bright and big up there is more than likely. Young old stars found in Intramedos Hollow. So. The Dromedas. Going to the left. Pretty much that upper triangulation. Uh oh. No, I'll be okay. I think we can scoot up there without zooming in. So, more than likely. Yep, Danab. Danab. It's all Danab stuff. So, pretty much looks like a bunch of Danab stars. That are up to this stuff here. Right there. Okay, it all pretty much matches. And this was that lower triangulation there. So we'll get the bright one on top. We'll find out what that one is. Gamma, Phoenix. Phonics, Delta Phonics, Phonic Phoenix. Phonicus. Delta Phoenicus and Ka. All right, so there you go.
Here's a real time magnetosphere tonight. Notice it's showing red all over, but that either we're not getting it on the. So it seems to be clear sailing. We're getting a little bit down on the backside. You see that little bit? I'll blow that up. See that there? It is a little bit of a tailish red on the backside. So we still hauling ass and getting some friction on the backside. Because basically, our, I showed you earlier, both of our auroras are off kilter tonight. Italy got shook with a 5.4 5 and they got a lot of quakes. So, matter of fact, this one may be even higher here. This one's highlighted in green. It'd be interesting what that ends up seeing, saying that one was. So, Italy's shaking his ass off. Solomon Islands had to 5.0. I think that's pretty much the down there where we've already showed this stuff earlier tonight. Page down, though. There you go, all that data. Five on the Honshu, Japan. Well, let's get another one thing cut in here. Now, Set Setchi's not down, but most all the cameras, the fresh ones, shots are down. Okay, so it'll be interesting what the heck they're hiding, or if it's that much CME action that they got problems. Baja got more action. I gotta get to the. 3.1 mag. So East St. Louis, Missouri might be in martial law or something like that. It's, might be something going on. Remember, Italy just had a bunch of action. We showed you that. Five point two. So, see if we can load this real fast for the night. Everybody have a good night. Let's roll up to the Lucians.